Right. So step two is assigning priorities. Okay. <clears throat> so when we're talking about priorities, we have four groups, right? So once you find a stage in a carbon, then we have four groups attached to it, right? So we do step one. Okay. So if you want to do a step two, you still have to do a step one first and then go to step two, right? So let's say you have example like this, what we just did, right? So we let's say have a hydrogen, right? Then we have chlorine. and then uh, so there's a bone. All right. <clears throat> so this carbon is estrogenic because you have a hydrogen, a chlorine, bromine, and fluorine. So four different groups attached to it. So this carbon is estrogenic. So let's put a star on it. Okay. So that indicates that this is a estrogenic carbon. And if it's a estrogenic carbon, then you go to step two. So step two is assigning priorities. Okay, so here which groups get the highest priority? Okay, so we have hydrogen, chlorine, bromine, and fluorine. All right. So basically, we are assigning priorities to each group. Okay. So we have four different groups: one, two, three, and four. So number one, when we say priority, number one is your highest priority. Right. So number one is the highest. Okay. And there is nothing you have to do for this. You just have to look at the periodic table. Okay. So periodic table say what what it says is higher the atomic number, higher the priority. Okay. So if you look at the periodic table and find out which has the highest atomic number, that group will get the highest priority. All right. So let's say now we can apply the same logic here. Right. So if you look at the periodic table, then bromine has the highest atomic number out of the four groups. Right. So still we are comparing the four groups here. Okay. So bromine has the highest atomic number, so that will get number one priority. Right. Then chlorine has the highest atomic number, which is 17, so that will get number two priority. Okay. Then comes fluorine, so that will get number three priority. And hydrogen, okay, is always going to be lowest priority because that's the uh, <clears throat> that has the less, least number of electrons or the protons in the periodic table. So you cannot go less than hydrogen. Your hydrogen has only one electron, so that will get your fourth priority. So anytime you see a hydrogen, okay, put that as a fourth priority. Okay, because we cannot go less than hydrogen in the periodic table. All right. So we have one, two, three, and four. So that's how you assign the priorities. Okay. Again, what you're looking at is the atomic number. Higher the atomic number, higher the priority. Okay. <clears throat> so let's try some complicated examples. Okay. A little bit more complex than just having four groups like easy groups. All right. So let's bring back all the examples we did before. So we already know where the stereogenic carbons are. So in this case, we're looking at this carbon right here, and the missing group is a hydrogen. All right. So this carbon here is stereogenic, right? So we just we saw it before, right? And now we're going with step two, right? So step two we have, right? So starting from this carbon, what we have, we have oxygen, a hydrogen. And there's a carbon and there's a carbon right here. All right. So oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and a carbon. Okay, so we have a tie here. Okay, there's a tie. Okay, we have oxygen and a hydrogen, right? So if you look at the first point of contact, okay, that's what we're looking at here is the first point of contact. So first point of contact is oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and a carbon, right? So hydrogen should always get your fourth priority, okay? And then this carbon attached to oxygen, carbon and carbon. So oxygen has atomic number of eight and carbon is six. So that will get number one priority there. Okay, because that has the highest atomic number. Okay. So you found one and four. Now we are looking between two and three. Okay, so which gets two and three? Priorities. Right. So the rule here is when the first point of contact is same, okay. Then you look at the second point of contact. Okay, so starting from this carbon, okay, what we have. So I'm, I'll just go ahead and write down all the bonds here, so we can see. So this carbon is attached to, and this carbon is a CH3 carbon. Right. So since these two carbons are the same, okay, that's your first point of contact. We go with the second point of contact. So if I move further here, what's coming out of this? So we have a carbon a hydrogen and a hydrogen. Okay. 
So second point of carb contact is a carbon hydrogen and a hydrogen. Okay. If I move further from here, okay, so that's the first point of contact. And the second point of contact from here will be H, H, and H. So we have a hydrogen, hydrogen, and a hydrogen. So which will get the highest priority out of these two then? There's a carbon right here. Carbon has the higher atomic number. So that will get number two priority. And this will get number three priority. Okay, so when you write priorities, you can write down next to the group. Okay, like I did here. OH gets one number one priority. Hydrogen get number four priority. Okay, this group here gets two and this gets three priority. Okay, so this is the only part in this whole chapter that can be a little bit confusing. But if you follow the process, okay, then it's not that bad. Okay, so again, what you're doing here is comparing the first point of contact. And if that's the same, then you go with the second point of contact. So what's coming out of this then? Okay, so we have a carbon, hydrogen, and a hydrogen. Okay, just write it down. And what's coming out of this carbon then? So you have hydrogen, hydrogen, and a hydrogen. And we compare. Okay, so this has a carbon which is higher. That's why this will get the higher priority. So let's try this example here. So we saw previously that there's two stereogenic carbons right here, okay? Again, when you have more than one, then you handle one at a time, right? So what we'll do in this case, we'll go after this first, okay? And let's find out what we have. All right, so the missing hydrogen is there, okay? So if you're looking at this carbon right here, then we have oxygen, hydrogen, a carbon, and a carbon, right? So there's a tie here, but this is obvious that oxygen gets number one priority, and Hydrogen gets number four. So we found one and four, right? Now in this case, we are trying to compare, right? So first point of contact is same, which is carbon and a carbon right here. Right? So carbon, carbon are the same. Then we go further, okay? So what's coming out of these two carbons then, right? So further, if I go here, then you have three hydrogens coming up. Right, so let's write down those that we have a hydrogen, hydrogen, and a hydrogen, right? And if I go further from this carbon, then don't forget that you have a hydrogen here, right? So we have a carbon, a hydrogen, and oxygen, right? So we have a hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen, right? So if you compare these two, then this will get the higher priority because this has a carbon and oxygen that has the higher atomic number compared to hydrogen. So this will get your number two priority, and this group will get number three priority. So most of the time, if you go with the second point of contact, it's pretty obvious. If not, then you have to try one more. Okay, so go for the third point of contact. All right. So we are done with this. Let's try other one. Right. So if I move to the other carbon right here. All right. So we're looking at the second carbon here, right? So we have oxygen, hydrogen, a carbon, and a carbon, all right? So oxygen will get number one priority. Hydrogen gets number four priority, all right? <clears throat> so there's a carbon right here, and there's a carbon here, which are the same, okay? So they are the same. So we go with the second point of contact. So if I look at the second point of contact here, then there's a hydrogen, hydrogen, and a carbon, right? So we have H, H, C. Okay, the second point of contact from here. And if I look further from this carbon, then I have oxygen, carbon, and a hydrogen here, right? So I have oxygen, carbon, and a hydrogen, right? So which will get the higher priority then? Okay, so you can cancel hydrogen and a carbon. So we are basically comparing, okay? So there's an oxygen, which is a higher atomic number. So that will get number two priority. And this will get number three priority. Okay, so group one, two, three, and four. So four groups, oxygen gets number one, this group gets number two, three, and hydrogen always gets number four priority. All right, so let's try this example here. So we saw before that this carbon right here is a stereogenic carbon, right? And the fourth group is hydrogen. All right. 
so that carbon is stereogenic. That's your fourth group carbon. <clears throat> All right. So carbon attached to a nitrogen, okay, a hydrogen. So that gets number four priority. This will get number one priority. Right. And you have a carbon and a carbon. <clears throat> right. So these two carbons are the same. Right. So carbon, carbon, same right here. Then we go further. So what's coming out of this further? You have three hydrogens. So let's compare that. It's H, H, H. Okay. And from this carbon, and we have a double bond. Okay. So if you have a double bond, then you split the double bond like this. So if you have a carbon, carbon double bond, then basically you split it like this. Okay. So you can physically write it like this, or you can you can look at this carbon right here, and then that's attached to a carbon and a carbon. Okay. So basically, a double bond means you split those two uh, split double bond into two other bonds like this. So what we are doing here is we are counting this as twice. Right? So this carbon is attached to a carbon and a carbon. All right? So what I'll do here is I'll split it. Okay? So you can see what I'm trying to say here is you can split that carbon into like this. Okay? So if I look at this carbon now and what's attached to further here, so there's a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. Right? So we have C, C, C attached to it further. So which gets the higher priority then? Okay, definitely this will get number two priority. And this will get number three priority. Okay, so one, two, three, and four priority. All right, so basically just when it comes to a double bond or a triple bond or a carbon oxygen double bond, you split it like this, okay? Or you count it twice, okay? Either way you see. So it's carbon attached to a carbon, carbon, and a carbon. So carbon, carbon, and a carbon. Or you can just physically split it like this and then figure it out, okay? All right, so let's do a couple of examples with uh, with a ring. Okay, so when you have a ring, how do you handle the situation? So, <clears throat> all right. So this is the example we did before. Right, so we have bromine, okay, a hydrogen, and this double bond right here. All right. <clears throat> so this carbon here is a carbon. So we have a bromine, a hydrogen, a carbon, and a carbon right here. Okay, so these are the four groups you see. Okay, so bromine and hydrogen. Right? So bromine gets number one priority. Okay, hydrogen will get number four priority. Okay. So carbon, carbon are the same here. Okay, so then we go further. So if I go further from this carbon, okay. So there's a double bond, so I can count it twice. So you have a carbon, a carbon, and don't forget there's a hydrogen here as well, right? So this carbon also has a hydrogen. So we have a carbon, carbon, and a hydrogen. So C, C, H, right? And if I move further from this carbon, then I have two hydrogens here, and then there's a carbon, right? So this carbon has H, H, C, all right? So we get the higher priority then. So we have an extra carbon here, that will get number two priority. So we are only deciding between two and three because we already found one and four. So this will get number two priority and this will get number three priority. All right. Now you can write down all these things um, the way I'm doing it. Okay, later on you actually don't have to write it. You can just do everything in your head, okay? Because the purpose of doing all these things is to go to step three, okay? So basically you can do step one, step two, and step three in your head, you don't really have to write it up. But until you get really good at it, just make sure you split it like this, you break it down, so you can follow the process. Okay, and you, so it's less likely to make a mistake this way. All right. Let's try this example. Uh, <clears throat> so we have two stereogenic carbons here, right? So, so we can do one at a time, right? So let's let's do this one for now. Yeah. So bromine and a hydrogen, a carbon and a carbon. Right. So if you're looking at this, then we have a bromine, hydrogen, carbon, and a carbon, right? So bromine gets number one priority. 
carbon gas number four priority. All right, so carbon carbon are the same. This first point of contact is same. Then you go for the second point of contact. So for second point of contact here, what I have, I have bromine, hydrogen, and a carbon. Right, so we ha I have Br, carbon, and hydrogen. And from here, the second point of contact is hydrogen, hydrogen, and a carbon. Right, so we have H H C. So we have a bromine here, which will get the higher priority. So that will get number two priority. So we are talking about this group right here. So that will get number two priority, and this will get number three priority. All right, so group here, one, two, three, and all right. <clears throat> we can do the same thing for the other carbon now, right? So always do one at a time, right? So the second carbon here is, is this right here. Right. So let's put the hydrogen because we are looking at the fourth group as well, right? So hydrogen gas number four, bromine gas number one, because you have a carbon and a carbon here. So these two are the same, first point of contact, so go with the second. So if I go for second point of contact, what's coming out of this carbon? Okay, so what's attached to this carbon further? So we have a bromine, a hydrogen, and a carbon. So we have bromine, a hydrogen, and a carbon. And what's coming out of this carbon further? We have a hydrogen, hydrogen, and a carbon. So H, H, C. So this will get the higher priority. So that will get number two priority, and this will get number three priority. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. All right, let's try this example here. All right, so we saw before that this carbon is stereogenic and this carbon is stereogenic. So we have two stereogenic carbons here. This is not, all right? So we can go one carbon at a time. So if you're looking at this carbon, then there is a hydrogen. This is a CH3 carbon. All right. <clears throat> so hydrogen gas number four priority, okay, always. Okay. Now if you look at the first point of contact here, then we have a carbon, a carbon and a carbon. Okay. So until now, we actually had two priorities, very obvious. But in this case, the only obvious one is the fourth priority. So we still have to decide between one, two, and three now, all right? So again, the rules are the same. So first point of contact is same, then you go for the second point of contact, right? So if I go for second point of contact here, after carbon, what's coming out of here is H, 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 okay? If I go further here, then the carbon has a carbon attached to it, a carbon and a hydrogen. So this is H, C, C, right? So two carbons and a hydrogen. And if I go further here, then I have a H, H, and C attached to it. So H, H, and C. All right, so out of these two, which will get the higher priority? This will get the higher priority because carbon, carbon gets canceled and we have a hydrogen with the carbon, right? So if I cancel these two, then we have a tiebreaker, which is a carbon here. So that has a higher priority, okay? <clears throat> Compared to this, that will get the higher priority, and compared to this, it will get higher priority. That means this will get number one priority, because that's what we're looking at, to find out number one, okay? And if you compare these two then, you have a carbon, and they have all hydrogen, so that will get number two priority, and then this will get number three priority. All right, so one, two, three, and four priority. All right, so let's try this carbon right here. There's a hydrogen should get number four priority. Okay. Then there's a CH3. Right. And you have a carbon and a carbon. All right. <clears throat> so fourth priority is obvious. Then you have a carbon, carbon, and a carbon. Right. So they're all the same. So first point of contact is same. Don't forget this is a stereogenic carbon. That means they all the groups are this. All the groups are different, but the first point of contact is same in all three cases. All right. So what we're trying to do here now is go for the second point of contact. So what's coming out of this carbon here? So we have three hydrogens. So we have three hydrogens, right? 
what's coming out of this carbon here is H, H, and C. Okay, so we have H, H, and C. And what's coming out of this carbon here is H, C, and C. So H, C, and C. Okay, so if you compare these two, this will be higher. And compared to these two, this will be higher. So that means this will get number one priority. Okay. And compared to these two, this will get number two priority. And the CH3 will get number three priority. All right. So this is how you assign the priorities. Again, the only rule works here is higher atomic number, higher the priority. And that's what we're doing here, right? So when I compare these two, I'm looking at a carbon, okay? That's a tiebreaker here, and that's a higher priority, right? And when I'm comparing these two here, okay? So I can cancel these two carbons, right? So carbon, carbon gets canceled. What I have here is a carbon and a hydrogen. <clears throat> okay, so tiebreaker is right here, and the tiebreaker is a, has a higher atomic number, and that's why we go with this as number one priority. Okay, so always we're looking at atomic number. Okay, and for this, we just had to look at the periodic table. Okay, you don't have to memorize all these numbers. All right.